Well, I think that uh, both Commerce Department and State Department very much support the trade missions. They have economic units, uh, certainly within the State Department, and and the uh, both the embassies and the consulates in China will support delegations coming over from the United States and helping arrange the visits, uh, the potential customers for Washington State or any of the uh, companies and, and members of the delegations on any of these state visits. So they're very, very supportive. And we need to, in, in fact, any state and any trade organization or industrial sector of a state should uh, insist that their governor's offices uh, rely on and take advantage of the resources offered by the Commerce Department and the State Department in helping uh, schedule these uh, visits, but also to find potential customers uh, and potential trading partners for our uh, U.S. companies and entities. The part I always thought was kind of interesting is, is I never saw the State Department or the Commerce Department really on those things when it was back in Michigan. Uh, they were very good when we were in the, the China or whatever country, but they didn't have any real engagement coming back the other direction, which in some ways you could argue they are spread then, but you'd think that would also be an opportunity to have a touch point of a positive one. But they, they were largely absent from all that process. Um, and in fact, to go to John's point, we have trade relationships and representatives in China and a number of other countries, but we set up a, a thing in Michigan. We set up the US-China Innovation Center in Michigan to be a welcome center for all um, Chinese activities within our state. And we are one of the very few states that actually made that investment. And we set it up in a fashion so it was quasi-governmental and would last between administrations. And it's been a big help.